So today we will discuss about the how the SAP logon procedure works. So normally when you are logging to the system, normally we know like from the SAP GUI, we are opening the SAP GUI. From here, when you click on the SAP, so then you will able to log in, you are getting the SAP screen, right? Here, what's happening? Then who is the, who is taking the request here? Then after that, you are entering the user ID and password. You are entering the user ID and password. Then how you are able to log in? Then how you are able to log into the system here, right? So how you are able to log into the systems here? Then which work process is taking care? That we know dialogue work process is taking care of our request here. Dialogue work process is taking care of our request and we are executing here. So there are the two requests are in progress. Then that's why. So here. So the work process is running status. You can see the work process. So one is the dialogue. Second one is the BTC. BTC means there is a background job is running here. Right. So then what's happening here? Right. How the procedure is working here. Right. So this one we should know actually as a consultant, we should know about the how the logon procedure is working here. Right. So even though it's not in scope, but we should know about the logic behind this. So what is the logic here, right? So in the SAP, this is SAP GUI here, SAP GUI here. So this is the dispatcher. So you have the work process list is available here. This is the work process here, right? We have the so work process here, right? We have the so work process here. So this is a work process here. Here, these are the work process. Here we have the database, okay? That's fine, right? SAP is the three tier architecture sap is the three tier architecture here right so every application server every sap application server you have the dispatcher here right every application server you have the dispatcher here so then dispatcher then after that you have the work process here after that you have the work process here right dispatcher and work process then you have the work process number of work processor available here then so here we have the normally we have the memory so this is called the shared memory we have here shared memory which means buffers shared memory means so we have the buffers so memory this we will call it as the shared memory okay normally this we will call it as the shared memory here this entire box is called the shared memory here in the shared memory, we have the, in the shared memory, we have the, so uh, this is the user context. Let me write it here. This is a shared memory. Okay. This is a shared memory. So then this is the, so GUI, your SAP logon pad here. Right. This is the SAP logon pad. Right, so this is the dispatcher. Okay, so GUI dispatcher, and here we have the work process. Suppose, like dialogue work process will pick up our request, then this is the work process here right double work process so work process has some internal internal mechanisms are there in the work process here work process are some internal mechanisms are there here to process your request here to process your request there is a uh, work processor internal mechanism that is called the screen processor then above processor database service here screen processor so they are the screen processor screen so screen processor then so above interpreter or above processor to process the above request so then then we have the database processor here database processor to process the to convert, interrupt the database languages and everything here. Normally, database, so database processor, database. Okay, database processor. 
so abap interpreter abap interpreter okay screen processor okay so these are the so work process this is the task manager here this is the task handler here task so task handler okay task so handler here okay so every work process has internally so one task handler it will process maybe because work process see this is a work process right dialogue work process or beta dialogue work process okay so this is a work process related back end what will happen this is the thing will happen here right so this is the shared memory here shared memory we have the role area normally we know role area then under the role area we have the user context role area only we have the user context means our user id passwords are stored in this so user context okay so that's why role area user context this is a user context so entire shared memory in the shared memory we have the role area user context here then we have the buffers right we have the buffers are available here here we have the buffers the buffers are temporary storage area in st02 we discussed right so buffers these all are the buffers here so buffer area here this is the buffer area here this is the buffer so this is a buffer area here it means a shared memory is divided into the buffers as well as the and role area role area user context entire memory is called the shared memory here right shared memory here so now the what is the relation here now what is the relation here right this is the entire work process here this is the internal mechanism we know only you log into the sap system you log into the sap system then your request will be forwarded to the so dispatcher dispatcher will assign to the so work uh, work process then work process will process your request that we know but after the work process what exactly happens here after the work process what exactly happens here right so that is the main important thing here this is the db this is the db here right databases so sap is a three tier architecture sap is the three tier architecture we have the presentation application layer and db layer here right so whenever once the user clicks on the sap system from gui is request is forwarded to the dispatcher request is forwarded to the dispatcher here right so whenever user whenever the user clicks from gui request is forwarded to the dispatcher here from the logon pad whenever he clicks whenever he clicks here so he forwarded to the so dispatcher then only your request will be opened it means sap screen will be opened here okay so sap screen will be opened so so dispatcher will store the request in so fifo order first in first out role means in the fifo order it will store that it will store all your request which means there is no so there is no uh, there is no role or there is a, there is a rule actually here which means dispatcher has a fifo mechanisms dispatcher has a fifo mechanism means whatever the request is coming to the from logon pad first in first out which request is coming first then that request will be assigned to the so the available work process it's not like that so there is a 1 2 3 4 in that fourth request is a very high priority request then you should assign this request to the remaining three we have to ignore and fourth request we have to assign to the so dialogue work process it's not like that so dispatcher will follow the first in first out rule and will find the available free work process if it is so if available if you available then your request will be assigned to the available work process here right so as per the user request the particular work process is assigned to the user right 
as per the user request, a particular work process is assigned here. So when the work process is assigned, then you will get this screen. You will get this screen here. Otherwise, you will not get screen here. Suppose example, this is down. Okay. So when you click this button, you will not get SAP screen. Why? Because see, it is not reached. It's down, right? The work process are not free. Or sometimes it's keep on so loading, loading, loading. Why? Because it's waiting for the dispatcher will find out the available work process, dialogue work process. Then will assign the request, will assign the request here, right? So that's what it will happen in the systems here, right? So that is the, so that is the dispatcher we do here, right? Once it is assigned here, once it is assigned to the available work process here, as per the user request, the particular work process is assigned to the user. For example, so when the user log into the system, then dialog work process is assigned to the user. Then when the user user logging means dialog work process is running. But if user wants to run a report in the background, then background work process is assigned. When the user done the some modifications are done at DB level, then update work process is assigned. So as per the user action, the particular work process will be assigned, right? So here in this case, once the user login is assigned to the dialog work process, right? Once the user is assigned to the dialog work process, then authorizations, user current settings are rolled into the work process in the shared memory to access the data. So once it is come to the here, then task handler will assign the task to your request. Then it will check the it will check the your user credentials in role area. User credentials, it will check it here, right? It will check. So then in this case, we will get the user ID password screen here. So here, user ID password screen, we have to correctly enter the password. Otherwise, so whatever the user buffer, user settings we have, so it will not allow. So once you correctly enter the password, once you correctly enter the password here, then you will be logged into the system here, right? Once the, listen, once the user is assigned the work process here, once the user is assigned, once the user is assigned to the dialogue work process, then the user authorizations, the user current settings are rolled into role in memory means user context role in memory means roll it into the work process in shared memory which means once the user is assigned then immediately your request is you will go and check into the role area into role in so user context role in which is coming in right role in user context role in user context which means it will check the user details user default settings and everything are rolled into the work process in the shared memory. Why? This is to access the user data. Once the dialog step is executed, means once the user is, once the dialog step is executed, the user's data is rolled out from the, rolled out from the, rolled out, rolled out here. Means once you execute the step, then once you are in the role in user context, the settings, everything is loaded now. Now, once you execute the dialogue step here, suppose like example, you are executing the one dialogue step here, one dialogue step here. So then immediately when you execute the dialogue step here, immediately you will get the one transaction code, one applic one business transaction code, you, you got it, which means which are rolled out from the work process here, thus shared memory. So suppose, sir, uh, our data will be showed assigned to the work process here then there is a shared memory memory is assigned to the our request then when the the memory will be free when you log out when you log out then the memory will be flow from the so the shared memory will be cleaned from so the shared the shared memory will be cleaned then others users data can be shared into the user memory area and everything which means so dialogue work process dialogue work process 
the once you log into the dialogue work process assigned it to the your request then in the dialogue work process there is a task handler it will go and check in the your user details and everything that is called the role in user context once that is done once that request is done here once that dialogue request is done here then your request task handler will verify the your task handler will assign to the screen processor here right screen processor will interrupt your screen then will assign to the above processor then above processor will convert your uh, logic into the above logic above above uh, language will assign to the database interpreter right the database interpreter database interpreter here so database interpreter will check database interpreter will check here then uh, will convert into the database language here then the request will be forwarded to the in case of the request will be forwarded to the database level here then database level it will check in the database level it will the pull the data database level it will pull the data here then again it will one request one response will give back to the so buffers it will keep into the buffers then then again it will assign to the work process then again so then dispatcher via to sap screen it will be give the information to the user which means whatever the transaction we are executing here right suppose like st22 something like that you are getting the transaction here right you are getting the transaction here you are getting the response so we know front end only this is happening right so but back end what's happening here the back end what's happening here so whenever work process is assigned first it will check the user credentials then after that the once user everything is done here default settings then so you are executing the already the buffers related data already data is available here then it will it will take it from the buffers it will the work process will take it from the buffers here so in case of buffers does not have the data then the work process will go to the database level will check the database level will give the response back to the user here right the work first work process once the user is the first work process is here the first work process will find out the data in the buffer right as i mentioned here if it finds the data in the buffer then there is no need to retrieve the data from the database level then your your response is very good here then response is improved here right this process is called the hit actually buffer hit so means you are hitting the buffer here not the database so this is called the hit ratio here right so then if does not find the data in the buffer then it will find the data in the database then this is called a miss but because your data is not in the buffer it's going to the database level means going to the database level it will take time right why because request should go to the database level it will retrieve the data then it will give the response means there is a, some 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 time it has to spend some time right so that's the reason that is the reason here so if the it ratio should be always higher than miss ratio means data should be always should be exist the frequently accessed data should be in the buffers then only it will improve the performance of the system here right so then other requested data is queried from the database level once the process is completed result will send back to the gui via dispatcher so at the end of the at the end the user's data is removed from the shared memory so memory will be available for the other process this is called the roll out roll out right roll in roll in memory means when the when it is checking the user context user settings that is the user memory that time the memory will be allocated to the work process once the once your request then memory will be allocated we can see it here right so if you go to the al08 here so we can see the details here how much memory is allocated for the work process and etc here right etc and everything we can see it here then once the memory is rolling user context then then once the user request is completed user transaction is completed then user is logged off from the required data system means then what will happen 
at the end users data is removed from the shared memory so memory will be become available to the other users this process is called the it ratio roll out mechanisms so this way the user request will flow works here so here if i drop the some flow wise so gui user user will open the here then gui gui2 then dispatcher dispatcher to dialog work process dialog work process will assign the assign the request to the task handler means dialog work process process we were request right but dialog work process has some internally there is a task handler it will assign the task and it will check the so user context it will check the user context to to adjust to check the user id passwords all those things here this is called the role in this is called the role in here then once it is checked the role in here then what will happen then once it is checked the role in role in it checked here then it will check the buffers then when you execute the transaction code it will check the buffers buffers st02 buffers then it will if the buffers have data then it is fine but buffers does not have the data then it will go to the db level db level it will pull the data then it will assign to the it will pull the data then one copy of data will store into the buffer again then again roll roll out data will be rolled out and give the response back to the give the response back to the gui here gui here this is the user request flow how the user request flow works means this is the flow it will work okay this is the user request flow got it sir what is the role area can you explain what role area means role area contains the user context that is what i told you right role area contains the user context user context means what is your user id what is your password user buffers user settings user default settings all the menu will be loaded so when you log into the sap system here see here once the you it will check in the user id passwords details and the default settings are loading right the default settings menu items are getting loaded here menu menu items are loading here that is called the user uh, role in user context rollout means it is it's releasing re memory is releasing here so memory is releasing here at end of the user's data at end last data is getting removed from the shared memory why because user is getting logged out means so user data is removed from the shared memory so the memory will be available to the user thus procedure is called the rolled out memory assigning to the user request is the roll in memory releasing just simply memory assigning to the memory assigning to the user that is called the roll in roll out means memory releasing further from the user that is called the roll rolled out okay fine so the same the 